Hello students, this is a problem 1.2 of IE Rodo. It is the first chapter and problem number 2. Lesson 1, problem 2. A point traversed half the distance with a velocity v0. The remaining part of the distance was covered with velocity v1 for half the time and with velocity v2 for the other half of the time. Find the mean velocity of the point averaged over the whole time of motion. Uh, the particle is moving in a straight line. So that this is the a starting point of the particle's motion and uh, B is the final point. Like this is the final point. This is the whole track of the motion of particle. A is the initial point. B is the final point. A point traversed half the distance with velocity B0. It means up to middle point C. This is the half length of the total journey. Let like this is S by 2 and this is uh, remaining S by 2. Total length of the journey is S. It is S by, S by 2, it is S by 2. The first part AC is covered with velocity V0. Uh, point traversed half the distance with the velocity V0. But so if you travel this part with velocity V0, then time taken in this part, time taken in this journey will be distance over velocity. It is S by 2 upon V0. It means S upon 2 V0. This is the time of the first part of journey. Total journey is from A to B. C is the middle point of journey. S by 2 distance is first part. S by 2 is the remaining part. The point travels the half the distance with velocity V0. So time taken in this part from A to C will be time is distance over velocity. It is S upon 2 V0. Now for the remaining part, the remaining part of the distance was covered with velocity V1 for half the time. What is the total time for the remaining part? Let us consider that this time is T. Suppose Total time taken in this much journey is t, suppose. We don't know about t. Let t is an assumed time for this journey c to b. So the question is the remaining part of the distance was covered with velocity v1 for half the time. For half the time, it means for t by 2 time. You are moving with velocity v1 and for uh, v, v2 velocity for the remaining half of the time. It means if the total time from c to b is t, then for time t by 2, you are moving with velocity v1 and for remaining t by 2, you are moving with velocity v2. So, uh, in first t by 2 time, distance covered equal to v1 into t by 2, distance barrel velocity into time. And in the remaining t by 2 time, distance covered is v2 into t by 2. Now consider the whole problem was A is starting point a particle, ka, B final point is C is the middle point half journey is covered with velocity v0. So time taken in this part will be s upon 2 v0. This distance over velocity. s by 2 distance with the time lage. Remaining distance is cb. Ye length hai s by 2. Ek supposition lijiye ki total time in this part is t suppose. Then according to problem the remaining part of the distance was covered with velocity v1 for half the time. Jitne time ka duration journey ka hai uske aadhe time ka Adhi distance time, adhi time. It is a different way. I think pehle part mein writer ne kaha tha ki adhi distance ko v not speed se cover kijiye. So distance over velocity, this is the time. But for remaining half distance, we have to move in such a manner that the first half time we have to spend with velocity v1 and for remaining t by 2 time velocity is v2. So with velocity v1 in time t by 2 distance is velocity into time. This is v1 t, t by 2. And this is again velocity into time, this is v2 into t by 2. And according to the diagram, we can see clearly that v1 t by 2 plus v2 t by 2, the sum of these two is s by 2. For this complete distance is s by 2. s by 2 equal to this plus this. Pura time t suppose kiya, t by 2 time tak v1 velocity se chalna hai, agle t by 2 time tak v2 velocity se chalna hai, and we know that distance is equal to velocity into time. So this is v1 t by 2, this is v2 t by 2 and the sum of these two is s by 2. If you cancel 2, you will get t equal to s over v1 plus v2. This is the time of the second part of the journey. This is the time for the second part and this is the time for the first part. So our question is to find the mean velocity. So mean velocity, according to definition, mean velocity is 
total distance or total displacement you are discussing a problem in a straight line so it doesn't matter either we are discussing about distance or displacement linear motion pe ye baat problem nahi create karegi keval vector aur scale mein fark rahega so mean velocity is total distance total distance is s already s by 2 plus s by 2 is s and total time is s upon 2 v not plus s upon v1 plus v now you can take s common from the denominator if you take s common from the denominator s can be cancelled and the next line will be 1 upon 1 upon 2 v not plus 1 upon v1 plus v2 now lcm dekhe ise solve kare denominator numerator pe convert ho jayega aur finally jab aap ise solve kar lenge lcm leke to ye then ye finally provide karega 2 v not v1 plus v2 upon 2v not plus v1 plus v2 आप एलसीएम लेके देखें v1 plus v2 plus 2v not और दोनों मल्टीपल का ऊपर न्यूमरेटर पे आ जाएंगे इट विल बी 2v not v1 plus v2 upon 2v not plus v1 plus v2 सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम फाइनल आंसर इज 2v not v1 plus v2 upon 2v not plus v1 plus v2 एक बार और समझ जाएं कि टोटल डिस्टेंस का आधा आपने v not स्पीड से कवर किया है तो याद रखेंगे टाइम कैलकुलेट करने के लिए आप डिस्टेंस और वेलोसिटी से डिवाइड करेंगे अगले पार्ट में कुल टाइम जितना आपने कंज्यूम किया है उसके आधे टाइम तक आप v1 स्पीड से ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं रिमेनिंग हाफ के लिए v2 स्पीड सो v1 t/2 इज दिस मच डिस्टेंस v2 t/2 इज दिस मच एंड सम ऑफ दीस टू विल बी एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू s/2 बिकॉज़ दिस इज क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस डायग्राम सो v1 t/2 v2 t/2 इज s/2 ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस द टाइम टेकन इन द रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज दिस सो दिस इज द टाइम इन द सेकंड जर्नी दिस इज द टाइम फॉर फर्स्ट जर्नी एंड वी नो दैट मीन वेलोसिटी is total distance of the journey divided by total time taken total time taken is the time in the first part plus time in the second part so you can solve it easily as uh, can be cancelled easily and aap iska lcm len aur aap answer 